And now everybody to the dance floor. Hey guys, it's Roblox and this video is very, very emotional. It's probably going to be triggering for most viewers, but I want to share my story so no one would do the same thing that I did last Saturday night. So kind of reconciling the Saturday, I was really depressed, you know. I was going through it. No one really knew that I was genuinely going through it. Um, I was supposed to go out with my friends, but I canceled on them last minute. Um, my best friend got frustrated with me. So I, I'm just like telling this, I'm telling them, I'm telling Ashton, you know, I'm really depressed. I'm going to go take my own life. We're kind of arguing at this point. Mind you, we're really, really good now. We're like amazing. Because, like, Ashen and Zoe, they're my best friends. And they practically saved my life, pretty much. But kind of re kind of recollecting the night. So I was depressed. And I, felt, and I felt like Ashton was, like, really upset that I canceled on him and stuff. But, and I'm sorry that I'm talking this way. I'm not really feeling well, but... So what started it was I smashed glass, cut my wrist with it, and as you guys can see, I got a tattoo that says, I am enough, right here, and a bunch of little pretty flowers, but that's because Zoe and Ashton both sent me ideas of what I should get done because of that. So kind of reconciling the night a little bit, I... Smashed glass, cut myself with it. I'm texting Ashton, you know, I'm freaking out. There's blood everywhere. Because, like, I was kind of in a blackout. So, I walked to the end of my neighborhood. And I'm just, like, texting him, saying, like, I'm almost at the intersection. I promise I'm going to be looking over you. But, you know, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for my, if it weren't the, for my, for my two friends. So... I get, I get to the intersection, I throw my glasses and my phone down, run in front of traffic, and thank God those cars saw me and they swerved out of the way. Knowing the fact that I almost died, let alone I could have taken somebody else's life, I, w I could not live without. I really, really couldn't. And, and the fact that Ashton was there for me the whole entire time, you know. I'm telling him, like, you know, I'm done with life, all of that. He's just like, it's not worth it, you know. And Ashton was on the phone with me as I'm walking back in the neighborhood. You know, somebody pulled over to the side to make sure I was okay. And I was on the phone with my mom at this time. Um, she's just like, yeah, I'm going to call the police. But... Most of you woo vloggers know that I really don't like the police because I've been in jail not once but twice. But when I got home, I was rushing home so I can go pick up Ashton. You know, there's blood on my wrist, saw that. You know, I'm, I'm texting Ashton, can you please bring me a napkin or something? I end up, my mom wants me to clean the glass up as I'm picking them up. Ashton and Zoe both say, you know, we're going to help you clean up the blood and clean up the glass on the floor and in the sink. So I drove them to my house like I usually do. Um, Cashew isn't there. My dog Cashew is not there because he's at my mom and her boyfriend's house. And then I drive them to my house and Zoe gets a paper towel, a napkin, and runs runs my wrist under um, warm water and starts um, and starts rubbing the blood off, wiping the blood off. Mind you, she's never really done this to any of her other friends. So I'm really, really, really grateful that I have such amazing friends like Zoe and Ashton. And then 
we went, then Zoe put some Aquaphor and a Band-Aid on my cuts. Then Ashton's sweeping around to make sure there's no more glass anywhere. And so we go to the movies. I really don't want to like talk during the movie and all of that, but I, but for what they did, you know, I had to pay them back. I bought them anything that they wanted out of the movie. I paid for their movie, everything like that. But, you know, that doesn't really take away the fact that, you know, I could have taken somebody's life, including my own. And if I would, like I said before, if I would have taken somebody's life, I could not, I would never be able to forgive myself. And if it weren't for those cars that swerved out of the way, I would not be here talking to you right now, talking to y'all right now. So I paid for their movie and we had a really, really good night. We took some pictures afterward and um, I was messaging Ashton, you know, I'm going to get a tattoo and can you, can you and Zoe please give me ideas for my tattoo? And so one of them popped up and it was this one. I'm just like, I think I'm going to get this one. This one was like all black and it didn't have like any pretty colors in it. So I got my tattoo artist to put some, to put some color in it. So we, so me, I picked up yesterday I picked up my best friend Jackie and my big brother Ashton. Zoe was at work, but we did bring her some food while we were on our break. She was so thankful for that. Um, Ashton and Courtney, I mean, Ashton and Zoe, Ashton and Jackie stayed with me the whole entire time I was getting my tattoo done. Ashton got a tattoo. Jackie got her first tattoo. So that was a really fun day. And all I can say is, is that I'm so grateful I'm here. I'm so grateful that I didn't succeed in the suicide attempt. And this tattoo is a little reminder of, you know, I am enough. I am worthy, you know, I have a full life ahead of me. I'm only 21 years old. So, you know, I am asking everybody who views this, if you see somebody struggling, please reach out to them. If you're struggling, please seek help. It seriously will help somebody, it will help yourself. I have my therapy appointment tomorrow and I'm honestly really looking forward to telling my therapist, you know, it's been a pretty rough week, but I managed to survive and I got this tattoo. So I'm really, really grateful. And it's a lesson learned, you know, kind of made my life flash before my eyes and made me realize, you know, anything, no matter how hard it gets, you can get through it. I love you guys.